we see, he says, having abolished in the flesh, and this is speaking of death on the cross, the enmity, it says, event of the law of the commandments contained in the ordinances, making in himself of twain, one man, one new man, so making peace. So because Jesus went to the cross, we have victory now in our bodies, in our spirit, and in our minds. How many know that I don't care what trouble you're in, you can get out of it through Christ? Yeah. Oh, come on and give God praise. And for the faithful will be rewarded. I chose 2 Corinthians 11 and 4. I'm going to have uh, Minister Terrence read that real quick for me. Exclusively, I want to say this. We uh, have to keep the faith uh, through the cross. We have to believe in the cross. It is the power in the cross that's keeping us right now. If I didn't believe on the cross from 1982 to now, I cannot stand before you and preach this gospel. But I believe in the death, burial, and the resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I believe there's only one Lord, one faith, and one baptism. I believe Jesus died for my sin. Ain't nobody gonna shift me in the middle of my trial. I don't know what this new thing is. Not everybody got a new thing going on. But this thing is still good for me. I know his name is Yahweh. I know his name is Elohim. Hallelujah. Don't nobody have to persuade me who he is in my life. I'm convinced of this great gospel that to be absent from this body is to be present with the Lord. I believe one day that he will crack the sky and with the trump of God and the second of the day Christ shall rise. How many believe that? How many believe that right now? The dead in Christ shall rise today. You are reckoned me and the earth shall be what? Caught up to be the Lord in the earth. So shall we ever be with the Lord. But see, y'all think we're going to stay there. No, we're going to reign for a thousand years. And then guess what? The earth is going to be made new. A lot of y'all didn't know that, did you? Read your Bible and you'll find out. He weed now the weak now. The tab in the week is being weeded out. Now he's the gardener. We ain't the gardener. Because people don't look like us, don't act like us, don't walk like us. Just keep walking. They'll follow you one day. Oh, come on, somebody. Oh, come on and give me prayer. You might as well pray because I'm going to preach till we say hallelujah. One thing about me, I've never been scared at the fight. God called me out. He chose me before the foundation of the world. He said, there's a bad little girl going to be consummated between Jake and after a while. Her name is Teresa, and I'm going to use her. She was baptized in Jesus' name October 3rd, but she was born July 15th. And if you look at Old Testament, one of the festivals fall on Monday, 715. Y'all need to hear me that day. Go home, somebody. My birthday all in the back. <laughs> all to celebrate my birthday on that festival. Come on. Hallelujah. See, they ain't Jews. That's why. I'm a spiritual Jew. Yeah. And see, when you cross the light, you know what's happening. Yeah. Amen. We, over, over here at Great Works, we believe in the festival and, and all those, those, uh, don't, am I right? Hanukkah and, no. <laughs> We believe in all that. They said we crazy on me. But I believe in those festivals. The atonement. I believe and y'all call me crazy if you want to. And I know that window was open last month until now. Because the devil was raging crazy with us. But guess what? The word of the Lord came forth in this house that there will be promotion given. Folk will be getting jobs with more money. And guess what? They got it. Oh, come on, give God praise. Oh, yes. If you don't believe the word, you can't believe nothing. I can't believe you. I can believe in the word that the Bible says, but when my mother and father forsake me, then the Lord will take me. Huh? He said, I'll never leave you, nor forsake you. I'm even, I'll be with you to what? Even to the what? The end of the earth. He said, if you make your bed in hell, by at least I know who's with me. I ain't in hell no more. I've been brought out, so don't put that on my slate no more. I'm delivered. Come on, somebody. See, you got to know what you know, and then you won't be easily persuaded. See, when you don't know this gospel, then you'll be persuaded. Next time I see you, you'll be talking some other stuff. I'm talking the same stuff 30-something years later. I feel like I want to get in that pool 
fool right now in Jesus' name. Don't fool with me. Now, I got in there. Y'all go back and tell everybody. Hallelujah. Because you know what? That thing was good for me. Because when I was blind, he let me see through this. See, this book of Ephesians, that's one thing about it. Whenever you read Colossians, Ephesians, Peter, Paul, whoever they are, whenever, whenever they're talking to the church, they're talking to us. They're talking to us right now. Because we are the church that God is coming back to. You didn't have the genuine church until the book of Acts. The Apostles' Church. Huh? What you talking about? Acts 1 and 7 and 8. You better read it for yourself. Now, I know Jesus. The Bible told me after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you. You shall become witnesses. I don't see a witness till I recognize that I've seen something that happened to me. Something happened to me. I don't know why I'm shifting, but something happened to me. And I can't even explain it. And each realm that I go to, he's taking me with more information of who he is. Do you know each level you go to, there's a new devil? But guess what? There's a new anointing too. Somebody need to pray. There's a new anointing in this level that we can ready to go to. We don't walk by people that are going to be healed. We don't walk in the room and the lights don't come on. Because the lights done showed up. Oh, y'all ain't even ready for this. Some of y'all need to get born again. Clap your hands. Uh, Pastor, I'm a little rough with that. No, I'm not, because if you knew my past, you'll understand his praise. And I'm so grateful that he brought me out. That I don't have to go back to Egypt no more. I can walk in Canaan without having a phobia, a setback. I can identify that I'm rich because I'm kingly material. I mean, 